Hey lug nuts, it's me Meredith. Today we're going to talk about the original puddle jumper. Now they've made some improvements on this bag. There are new puddle jumpers that have a couple more things that are different or better. But this is the puddle jumper that I have and sometimes you want to buy bags new used or on eBay or they're running a clearance on the old model and I wanted to give you a sense for what it looks like. The Puddle Jumper is one of Lug's most popular bags. It's got this uh, front that is very familiar, if you've seen some of their other bags, with the three pockets here. That does have the contrast lighting of a bright blue on the inside. And then this is kind of a uh, teal color. I think they might call it Ocean on the Lug website. But on the inside, it, it is this, this really bright blue, so you can see. Two pockets here, good for tissues, medications, lip gloss, that sort of thing. It's got the two flip pockets too. I've seen you put little money for tip cabs or your metro card, anything like that. Sometimes I've got a Target gift card that I, I got from returning something and I can just stick it right in there and then I don't lose track of it in the rest of the bag. The front, the bottom part, opens nice and wide. You've got a mirror here. You've got two um, of these elastic things for pens or for makeup or for brushes, a cargo pocket here, more pen or makeup brush things here, and a privacy zip in the front. When we get up here, this pocket does reach all the way through to the bottom. You can put your iPad in there, any papers you've got, magazines, books for when you're traveling. Now the new a puddle jumper does have an extra pocket here for your phone. The original does not. And I do think that does add to the bag. Because right now, where would you put your phone? Perhaps in the cargo pockets on the side, but then what do you do in it? Maybe if you can put it in your pocket, you'll be okay. So that's the best, that is the, the best improvement they've made on this bag. When you get to the sides, you can see we've got a cargo pocket here, cargo pocket here, lots of space for water bottles. And then when we get to the back, you've got the designated shoe pocket. This is so nice. When you need it, you can stick your shoes in it or your dirty laundry. It takes up a little bit of the space inside. When you don't use it, this liner just lays down and lets you fill the inside to capacity. So it's handy if you need it. If you don't, just ignore it. It is mesh here, so any stinky shoes that would get worse, a wet bathing suit, for instance, when you're at the gym, this would all fit in there well. Got your hook in the closure, so you can stick it on rolling luggage. There's a zipper pocket here that also goes about halfway down up to this point here. Another good spot for boarding passes, perhaps. Got an ID badge here. You can stick your business card in to keep track of it. Then we get to the inside of the bag. It opens nice and wide. In the front, you've got the deep cargo pocket, two pen holders here, and a little ring for your keys if you want to hook them right there. Back on the back side, there's another privacy pocket. For me, uh, you know, when most women, we use that just for feminine products, the just in case pocket, the I hope I don't need it pocket, but it's there and it's discreet. So you don't see it when you're just fishing through and you're on the airplane. So uh, you can see on the bottom, the width as compared to my hand is pretty good. These got two little stands on each side so that when you stand it up, it stays standing. This bag has the tote handles, which fit nicely on your arm. It also comes with the crossbody strap, and right now I've got it at its sh one of its shortest lengths, but it does extend much, much longer in case you prefer to wear it as a crossbody bag. So that's all I've got to say about the original Lug Puddle Jumper. Please subscribe if you'd like to hear more about more lug bags. Thanks!